Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to tell you how to calculate buoyancy. First of all, we have to look at a, an, a quantity we call density. Density is mass, measured in grams or kilograms, divided by volume, measured in centimeters cubed or possibly in cubic meters. For the moment, we're going to use centimeters, and we use grams. Now, if I have a cube of water, one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, its mass will be one gram. It's always going to be one gram. If I have a larger uh, cube, two centimeters by two centimeters by two centimeters, this will actually have a mass of eight grams, and so on. So the density tells us that the mass of the object depends on its volume, but the density is always the same. If this same cube were made of iron, it would have a mass of 10 grams. If the same cube were made of wood, it would have a mass of 0 0.8 grams. Now, buoyancy is about something floating or sinking. We say it is buoyant if it floats, and it is not buoyant if it sinks. And we can tell easily whether it will sink or not. First of all, we have to uh, understand a law, Archimedes' principle, which says that an object, when placed in water, displaces its own weight of water. So if I put this object, whatever it is, into water, so here's my water, and I put the object into water, here's the object, some of it will sink below the water. If it's floating, this amount of the object is pushing water aside. Therefore, this is the water displaced. Now, if the water displaced has a greater weight than the object itself, the object will float. If this were iron, well, this amount of iron would weigh a great deal more than the same weight of water. And even if the iron is totally submerged, here's the iron, and totally submerged, the iron is only pushing aside, in fact, one gram of water. This is an iron object, and one gram of water is pushed aside from this iron object. And therefore, the water pushes up with an, uh, a mass equal to one gram, equivalent to one gram pushing up. But unfortunately, there's about 10 grams pushing down. So that means the iron will sink. This, however, appears to be wood, because the wood altogether only has this weight here, and the water here, this amount of water, has a mass of 0 0.8 grams. One gram is the whole cube, 0 0.8 grams is four-fifths of the cube, and therefore one-fifth of the wood stays above the water, the object floats. So that, simply, is how buoyancy works.